I'm Tony Santoyo. I was born in Mexico, but have no memory of it. And I've lived in St. Paul, Minnesota since I could remember. I was brought to the U.S. at the age of one by my parents with hopes of a higher standard of living and dreams. Both places are home to me. I think there's something in our human being that desires to make. It's a satisfaction through creating something that speaks, but without words. I think connection to my history and human body is what matters to me. Personally, I see making in my parents and family history. My mom loves art. My dad, he loves working with his hands and he's always building and fixing something around the house. My mom always had me doing craft as a kid as a way to keep me occupied. Then I met my neighbor, Mary Hark, who is an amazing friend, mentor, educator, and of course, hand paper maker. And over the years, she continued to fire my love for craft through paper making and public projects around our neighborhood. And in 2016, she invited me to Penland as her studio assistant. And I fell in love with this community and its drive for craft. I went off to get my bachelor's degree from the University of Minnesota. I was pre-dental my first two years. Then I realized again my love for the arts and its transformative power. But to me, it was through understanding my story and background, the value in communities and culture, leading me to minor in anthropology and sociology as well as pursue my degree in art. Recently, I've been taking my time to focus my attention on clay, using my obsession with cacti as an inspiration for both the form and decor of them. My favorite part is the painting of the pots. I find cacti very fascinating because of their symbolic meaning, which is endurance and survival to flourish. I relate to that very much and sometimes see myself in them. The prickly pear shows up many times in my Mexican culture, in dishes, landscapes, in the Mexican flag. I find their form to be very interesting as well. Penland means many things to me, but during this time, it means validation and strive validation that what I see for myself, my future, and what my parents saw for me is happening. I'm proud, I'm happy, which only fuels my strive to continue my passion and happiness, which is what I want and I know my parents want. I think having this time to slow down and kind of be with myself and be with the other eight fellows kind of recentered me a bit and made me realize like what I do and why I'm here. With this time, I've been able to reflect and be grateful for many things and feel the love and magic that surrounds me.